YouTube, what's going on? Well, we got a lot of cars to look at and a lot of trucks. Probably more trucks than cars. I'm going to try to go at a pace that won't draw it out too far, but we got a lot of ground to cover. I figure we put it in a big video so everybody can have a good, a good view of maybe whatever they're interested in. Let's take a look. Well, we had the diecast show over the weekend, a local one around these parts, and uh, let's show off some loose stuff. No packaging. The gentleman there had a good array of premium diecast stuff I like looking through. The Johnny Lightning Racing Champions and Auto World, and there's a few other brands like M2. I actually got a pretty good deal. And uh, let's take a look at what I found. Some of the stuff that fills in the gaps. I like loose. Buying loose if I can. Because some of the stuff I like, I'm going to open up anyway. And I won't feel bad about it. This is pretty much all mint loose. They might have been displayed. Some of them had a little bit of dust. But we got it handled. So let's take a look. First and foremost, a casting that is new to the collection is this Bronco. Now this Bronco is like a 1980 as they call it racing champions release. So an 84 Bronco it had the bullnose Fords as they call it F-150. Let's take a look at the under the hood. I think I opened this before. Yeah. So Still in 1980, you can get a lot of different engines. I believe it's the inline six, and then you had a small block Ford 302s and probably 351 still in these 5.8 liters. Although it might have been a 4.9 by 1980, they were using that little bit of a smaller displacement in the Mustang for fuel economy. I don't know what they did the trucks. I didn't look it up. Probably carved. Stick shift was still common. Two and four wheel drive. I believe the top still came off on that back part, but it was a little bit more involved. Awesome casting. These actually are going to, again, it's great seeing these. You know, he didn't discriminate between stuff that I thought was higher value than others. And I definitely, it was fun because they're packed single file in a cardboard box and you had to look down so you really had to just look at them there you had to really have a good eye for it so it was kind of a fun game to pick stuff before uh, other people came through so that was one of them I won't elaborate too much but racing champions they're still available they came out in so many different color variations and I'll tell you lower, usually lower production you know like a few thousand to under 10 sometimes maybe a little bit more than that made police car versions of it and a lot of the stock cars like this there is a yellow one and a green one and red and so on and so forth when i was looking at this ebay just to see if i could see this color that says 2016 under here but i don't know if that's when it originally it was redone or whatever so uh but that's what it says. But I didn't see this tan combination, the brown and tan. I saw all the other colors. So maybe this was a little bit less um, production. Who knows? If, they, if you do know, put it down below. All right, another cool one. Now this one I'm going to do a short, short walk around because really I have this. And, and we've seen this on the channel, but it's still in its package. I didn't take it out. I have the Lowrider one with the gloss black. That was just released as a main release. This was a special edition flat black one with the standard ride height. It does have an error. The caps are, well, they're not centered, but at least they're there. The rear one is missing. But you can see how these wheels look good when they remove the, the tampa work. Because when they're really off-center that bad, you can... You can almost um, put the black on there yourself. And they're actually, I've seen, there's people that have the decals you can buy with the bow ties. 
at this scale and you can kind of just do the wheel over if you really want to but it was nice to have this out of the package <clears throat> what's interesting about this that i didn't notice is the fact that the the bumpers are gloss black but the body of the truck is is flat so i thought that was fun let's see what this says I didn't correct the uh, axles either, so I might go through it. It's just good to add it to the square body herd. I like to have as many examples of it as I can that I like. You know, I don't get everything. There's no need because some of them I just don't like them. So I don't have to get them. Here's another cool one that <laughs> I thought I'd have to wait, but this gentleman, this other gentleman had these and they're good price so and it's the suburban so another this is kind of like check the box of having this casting more than anything but this is the more recent release so we see these vehicles here the the 90 f250 uh brick uh for that is going for a premium already it seems like but i do want to get my hands on this so that 61 harvester scout international harvester that has this new tire design I want to check out when the wheel design so that's part of the green lights uh, quote unquote restructuring with new management I think this thing's been released post that so we'll see how quality it has improved I want to see that tire I like the tire on the power wagon we've seen that tire before on this channel now they keep using the fat tire because they really don't have an alternative this, this really needs to be done like I did on my custom and we'll take a look again real quick. So, you know, unfortunately they they have to use the auto world on a green light, but you know, something like this. They really need a to have tire like that. They have a tire that's close, but it's still more like a muscle car profile tire, which you can put on these rims. Uh, but it doesn't look great. The closest I've done with green light parts only is this variation. These rims are the same pretty much as this. These are a wagon wheel. But you could fit the same tire. So you would want the street tire. But that fat street tire. Which actually is the OG. The original green light tire. The big fat. Now they have a good profile. You could see that this truck... That's the profile that we're trying to do with stock. We're not trying to overdo it. But really, that's almost not as good as this. And uh, this is slightly off scale, this rim. But it's it's good. Now, this ride height is like a 2500. More than a 1500. Even a four-wheel drive 1500 didn't ride like this. Now, three-quarter ton Suburbans back then, square bodies, that was popular. That was even more popular than when they were redesigned in the 90s. So, people were still using that, you know, as a vehicle. And you could see them, they had big, tall tires on them. be nice to have something like that. We got the closest that we can probably be is using the GM tires from Greenlight and the Power Wagon uh, tires. And that would probably be the best setup for that. But this is close. And it can just be like a 1500 with that rally. Going back at this. These don't even turn. Because the tire is just too much. But it, it has a good presence. <clears throat> if you have a static vehicle, you know. But it won't function very good, unfortunately. Gets hung up. The orange is really neat. Now, they tampo, obviously, the two-tone with the white. And I was contemplating. Should have bought two of these because he was selling these pretty well, price-wise. Um, for some reason, when you go to retailers, this is like a higher price point than regular green lights. We could take the white off, and then we would have an all-orange truck. And we could probably put some more, like, uh, hub uh, like uh, steel wheels on this with the correct tires. And it would look like a great commercial suburban like a construction site type truck 
and we could change to grill out the the, the uh, 81 grill from the truck I have, and that would look good in this. And uh, we could flip all that around, and I think that would be neat. It does have the barn door set up, or this one has the regular tailgate. And then this one, the star of the bunch, I really feel like this one is quite nice. That's why I chose to cannibalize one of my Silverados for this thing. Uh, I don't take that lightly. I do have a, a decent collection of square body Auto World, but I don't like to take them apart. I wish I had more of this. Well, that's sometimes I look on eBay. People sell parts, and people like lifting their trucks, and they really don't use the stock stuff. So if you're one of those people, I'm I'm all ears. Okay, so we looked at another another vehicle. Uh, Another cool one is this. We'll look at this real quick. A flat red. I never bought this. I don't know if this was a two-pack vehicle or whatever. I, I didn't look this up. It is a, a 65 Econoline lowered, but the club wagon style. It rolls really good. You know that 2016, 2020, the, some of the stuff, especially the vans, rolled really good. So it's got a slight wobble to it, but really, really nice. The van's always had pretty good quality, just because the way they are assembled is pretty simple. They're engineered well. So when you put them together at the factory, you know, if you're not doing the model kit stuff, it's it's pretty decent. It helps that there's no moving parts on this casting, even in the premium form, which has the metal base. So most of it again you're just putting the bumpers on and it's ready to go cool van it'll go good with the van collection i don't go crazy on these early vans but some of them with the good colors they're good to have all right <laughs> here's one that i was find on the shelves this is kind of popular vehicle just because of the stripes stripes are popular i like stripes i mean it's i don't i've always liked them i don't think it's a fad for me but this is a good 73 blazer so early blazer for square body yeah first year i think right yeah 72 for this body so no yeah 73 so let's take a look i haven't done anything to it yet you know it's gonna definitely take the coke stuff off and i'm gonna clean it up i think that with the paint color choice with the white top we're gonna remove this and I think this was loose already. No, it's not loose yet. It's loose on my van. But this will get removed. I'm going to take off the, the front end. And uh, and then I think it'll look pretty cool. Get a sense of how it's plain it'll look once we get this off. M2 has been casting these tires and wheels fairly well over the different vehicles I've seen these on. So, for such a big piece of rubber or vinyl, they seem to come out pretty good. This one's got a couple of bites on it, like a couple of pieces of flashing. Not a problem. Well, the good thing about this is the wheels are round. So, they just need a little bit of truing. It's not a big deal for me. Hood should open good on this blazer and the, and the regular cab trucks. It's really the crew cabs that have the most problem with the way the hood opens. This is a standard 350 or whatever in there, small block. They don't even paint it on this one. The Coke ones, because of the licensing, are more money. Even though it's basically the casting you can get anywhere on the lower trims. Excellent chassis. I always loved this chassis. It's rugged, but yet elegant. You know, this is something you can put in your pocket. And uh, it'll do fine. So I do like the M2 because that. And they give us a, a leg up by having a screw base so you can take it apart. Just makes life easier. Um, so I, I give them credit for all that. Because they know that a lot of people do like to take it apart. And it's fun. They come apart very easily. And uh, if these become more like uh, in the rotation for, you know, cars I want to have on the the layout or in my pocket will glue this just a couple of drops of glue just to keep this from getting going crazy and uh it does fine 
doesn't make a mess, doesn't leave any drips or anything, but uh, it stays on. And uh, I'm not taking the top off, so it doesn't really matter. Now, some of the other ones that we don't have in the rotation as strongly, then it's not a problem. We'll just leave it the way it is. All right. Blazer. Pretty blazer. Very, very nice. And uh, Chevrolet, not the GMC. You see the emblems. What a truck. All right. We're going to be making a, probably a huge line up here. All right. We're getting down to some new stuff. Oh. One more. <laughs> one more cool one. Wagoneer. So I have the all gold one with the regular wheels. Uh, that's it. These will go for very big money. This was in the same i couldn't believe it i saw this and i thought it was a station wagon for a minute and then i i knew exactly what it was and it was one of the colors i wanted they made this in a variety of the colors believe it or not but about half of the, all the colors were wood grain there was a couple of cool like sport versions i think they made them into cherokees um or maybe like a wagon here not a grand wagon here so I do want to get one of those, but this one comes with the small tires and the chrome versions of these wheels, which is accurate for a uh, Jeep of the time. So this is an 81. This is an oddball year. I don't know if that ties into some sort of licensing or some movie they had to replicate, but a lot of times those funny years that happens. Because usually, think about this vehicle, the 86 through 91, you know, what that the mo the 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 last updated grill is typically the one you see, but it's interesting that they used the early grill. And this grill was like what the square headlights. I think late seventies, late late seventies, early eighties, and then they redesigned it to what we last saw. I think it was like eighty three to eighty four, somewhere in there, maybe even eighty two. This is a great casting. It's not completely 100% 164. These are big vehicles, actually. I mean, they weren't really that small. I mean, you see it next to a Suburban of a green light or the C10. It's going to be a little bit bigger than what it presents as a Johnny Lightning. But it's really good, great proportions. And look at, and this is problems even with modern, modern casters is the scaling of the windows is really really good on this vehicle the width of all these and the and the size of the vehicle and everything is perfect i mean for the size there probably is you know if you wanted to split hairs a little inaccuracy if you had to but all in all great awesome they left this open for the tailgate to work but again this is nice and thin it's not thick they resisted having the rivet go all the way through you can see it's probably right there so again that is possible i don't know i know more people don't do it but people know about this but it might be tricky so basically when they mold the body they have the piece of metal come this way and then we can have a place for this instead of having to go all the way up to the roof which is a lot of times if this is closed you have to do that so another reason the casting probably gets a lot of attention is not just because it's the Wagoneer which everybody loves but it's also a well executed one wood grain is awesome obviously with these updated wheels and tires it looks very good to me uh, I thought the gold rims, you know, because this would have had a silver rim, alloys, with, a, I think, an accent in the middle like this. But the gold with the, the wood looked really good in the tan interior. So let's open up the hood. I'm not complaining. I like this grill compared to the later one just because it's more interesting. These probably at the Grand Wagoneer, they always had the 360. I don't think they ever changed. You know, I don't think they did the three eighteens or anything. I think it was just a three three sixty. I think the Cherokee, the two door that was based on this, and like the Wagoneer, they might have had an inline six at this point. 
as an option, but the Grand, I think, always had the, the 360 in it. And when Chrysler took over in the late 80s, they continued to really make the vehicle the same. They really didn't update it. The XJ Cherokee was like that, and they kind of put this vehicle aside when the Grand Cherokee debuted. They kind of pushed this away. They're like, you're done, Sonny. And it, it was time. I mean, it was like the Dodge Diplomat. It had the older style. I mean, this body came out in the in the 60s and really just updated it very marginally. Again, when AMC was in control, it was just, you know, they just didn't have money. But they make good designs. You know, they're kind of middle of the road some in some respects, but because they did everything they could to be as good as they could with as little as they had, they they make designs when you drive them that are pretty good. They're very comfortable cars. You can see out of them very well. And they have their own style <laughs> to them. But you can see the on the design of this vehicle, the similarities between the AMC products of the time, the cars. You know, the way, the way the window frames were and everything. So just a cool truck, right? Everybody loves this thing. I do. Hopefully that gentleman will have other stuff loose to buy. <laughs> That's not going to, you know, make my wallet jump away and run back to the car. All right. I love this truck. Hopefully I have it forever. And I will. Some cars, you know, you're just going to keep. Uh, all right. Let's do a new casting to the fold. Another new one. Debut for this channel is this. Charger. This is a 21 Hellcat. What is... Where's my... Here it is. So... Uh, there was white ones of this. But, uh... I never got that. And I, I saw the red. And and it was just... In, it was a little of horsepower. So this is a... <laughs> SRT Hellcat Red Eye. So all the way loaded uh, type of car. All the firepower. And this was part of that exclusively only modern vehicles. Nothing went older than, looks like a 2021. So they had some really cool cars. This is actually good. This has already been uh, gone through by me. And what I mean by that is like I fixed the tire placement and the rim and the back spacing and all that stuff and all the flashing. So these cars, they have delicate wheels so when they go on the axles because they are the barbed type axle so you have to push them on it's like a one way on situation but anyway they put them on and they're always crooked and and, and there's flashing because there's very low profile wheels so you have to fix the flashing on them for it to to roll and really like this same type of situation with mini gt is very marginal minimal type of corrections Sometimes on the auto world cars, uh, you know, they make great castings. They're awesome. I'm not, but, and, and again, rolling is really not necessarily a big deal. Uh, and especially the manufacturers, I just like, hey, look, if it's on there square, at least, it, you know, when the car's just static, it's fine. Which is good. It gives you at least a starting point to make it roll. So now it's rolling good, and we have the backspacing correct. You can see my shims that I put in the axles using that tube that I showed on actually the previous video. Now I had to do it by feel. You could see on the back in particular, it looks like this one's a little thicker than this one. And that's just the way the casting is. You know, there's little differences in it. But again, you, you sit there with your file and get it pretty close. And I'm not completely 100% all the way done, as a matter of fact, to my. There's a little bit of wobble. It's not bad, but I can get the rest of it out, and I'm just going to switch axles. I tried modifying some axles I had. So the car's decent, but uh, it's not perfect. Anyway, let's get to the car. Awesome casting. Uh, no issues like on the Challenger where we were missing that, that B pillar. Uh, it's on this card. So this is, this is a great, it's probably the best 164 scale charger out there. Uh, there's not m many of them, but it... I mean, it compared to what this is, you know, I mean, this is, look at that, so, this is just a police car, but 
you know, and one's a wide body and one isn't, but you can see, I mean, look at this. So when they did the window frames on this car, they did the window frames. This, and uh, you know, not so much. So it's just a different, different mentality. Good, passable, you know, when guys customize these for the police departments, they look awesome. But this is like set up correctly, so as you can see. Now, let's look at the motor, the 700 horsepower motor. And 2024 is the last year for these cars. We're going to say goodbye to them on a chassis that started in 05, I think. <laughs> so, you know, originally its origins came from all the way back then. Now look what we have now. So... And this, this, uh, 2015, 2016, this, this body style update came out. So now it's 2024. Still a beautiful car. I like them. They're, they're loud cars. They're in your face, but they're really, I like the styling of the Charger. I always have. It's a nice car. And I like rear wheel drive sedans. V8. Good car. Awesome tail treatment good scale on the on the um spoiler and the and the crystal red paint is really good um sometimes when they paint these cars with this paint this style paint the you know it's really not primed underneath so you get a lot of ghosting i didn't see it on this car we see all on the door jams and where the bumper is there's a little bit of um pooling here if you look down there it's not bad but it's a little bit thick, but it's not, I mean, for what these paints usually are, they're really bad. I mean, unfortunately, it's just the nature of the beast. But uh, they figured something out with this mix because it looks really good. A little ghosting, but not bad. The hood's got a lot of complexity to it, and look how nicely it's done. So I didn't even blackwash fill that in. Sometimes I have to. And I, I, I don't mind it because they go light instead of heavy. You know, if they're too heavy and they, they mess up, it looks worse. So they kind of do a light coat typically. But uh, the grill and everything looks awesome. You know, it's all painted. So if you're going to really carry this car around a lot in your pocket, you might want to clear coat all this so it doesn't wear off. Because it will. Especially on a car like this where it's smooth. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> We're going to look at some awesome trucks first of all um we've looked at these castings in detail so i'm gonna look at a few of these out of the box and some of them are gonna stay in let's back this up just for the brevity i mean i know people know about the castings pretty much they've been around for a few years now but this is square body syndicate times three and uh, we're going to take a look. Now, real quick, before I get to it, I forgot about this truck. An awesome truck. I wanted it. I found it. Um, but it was an error. So we'll look at this error. And I didn't even notice it until I took it out. It's probably why I still was able to get see it. So this is a 20. It's supposed to be three-quarter ton, but uh, it's short bed. So that's kind of weird. But anyway, you can see, unfortunately, the casting error right here, it's missing. Uh, metal so it is that's frustrating i might just put it for sale as an error truck and try to find another one i don't even want it really it's disappointing but it, it's a it was a color scheme i really wanted i wanted the banana yellow with the uh, wood grain this is the equipment that you could have got back then this is 73 so believe this that you could get the wood grain like that with this color Maybe this factory error is going to grow on me. I'll just, you know, give up and just live with it. I don't know. It's one thing I can't really correct without a lot of... It's not, basically, it comes down to color matching. I mean, I could fill that in. And actually, we're going to talk about filling something in here and, and with the next ca couple castings. But I don't know. It's missing. You can see what I mean if you look this way. And it, actually, it's a little soft there as well. But... It's not that bad. I don't know if these castings are already deteriorating. The dyes are deteriorating already. And they're starting to get, get a little wore out. But, uh, you know, if you look at these trucks from a few years ago, they're not as bad as this. 
Also, the paint's getting applied pretty thick nowadays. This is still cool, and I like this truck. But I just had to say that. Now, this is one of 9,000 pieces. Okay. Here is a <laughs> really cool truck. Let's start with the square body, and we will take this one out. So, this one's got the stripe package. Shannon Super 10. They always have, like, a stripe type of truck in the series. Or at least have some sort of... So, we're going to cut this one. And they started adding this bottom seal as well. Probably the last few years. So, we'll get that open. And then... We are going to use the screwdriver so we don't tear. Okay. So, really cool. Uh, the packaging on all these trucks match. Or the packaging, yeah, matches the truck. So leave this like this. We're going to take this out. I'm going to have to package all this up later. So I'm just going to start piling stuff over there. Because it'll all get put back in the box. So we'll take this out real quick. And let's just probably show the box real quick. The ones that I still have in the box. And then I have loose ones too that we'll get to. So here's this one. Let's move the charger over here. So we got to put these screws back. It's always the lifted ones that have multiple screws. That like that, and you can put this like this. And, okay. There's that truck. Let's look at this one. 1978 Sierra Grande, or Sierra Grand 15. Actually, we can probably take all these out. They're coming out anyway. So same thing. We're gonna break the seal. And these are, so I guess this set, and they're going forward since they ran out of trucks, they actually built themselves, well, you know, built for the shop and then sold or did show trucks. Now this is going to be more like customer trucks and submit so trucks submitted that use their parts. So this one's really cool, but we'll take a look. I was taking a look at this through the uh, case, and uh, this one, this one's got such thick paint on it, it's nuts. Now the wheels and tires are awesome, for M2 wheels and tires anyway. Just because of the fact that they, they laid down the white paint, um, like, not heavy, so like it gave it a shadow effect. So it actually brought out the detail of the wheels. So that's kind of cool, so we'll look at that. The truck's not bad from like a 164 scale perspective, like if I'm sitting back behind the camera right now looking at it. Without magnification, um, it's fine, but it's <laughs> it's kind of thick. So here's this bad boy. Next, we're going to look at this one. Look at this one. This is a wood grain truck, too. Now, that's a GMC Whew. Sierra Grand 15. Look at this bad boy. Such an awesome truck. So we're going to open this up. This one won a 9250 with a 750 amount chase. So I'll open this one. And gotta get the bottom seal. And they put that bottom seal in so when you're packaging these trucks in the sleeve, these will get like busted up. You know, they'll they'll catch and then people are starting to rip them and um There's just the boxes. I mean, I don't know how much longer, you know, because they've been kind of up in the price slightly over over the years you know these are still under seven dollars i know that they're going for crazy money but uh they are and um well these always go for crazy money you know they make them the same they make the same amount of these as they do any other walmart release but I get it. I like the trucks. Like, I mean, I understand. I mean, I don't know. I just, I'm glad I found them. I don't, I would never, because like the second square body set that came out, I don't think I got maybe but one of them. 
And I just don't, I mean, I'm not going to pay for it. And I don't mind people that do because they can't find it or they live in a different part of the country or whatever. So let the market dictate it. I get it. I'm not, I'm not uh, getting against anybody. You know, if someone puts a fair price out there, so be it. But I don't, you know, I mean, they're still M2 trucks. They're not completely super limited. Again, a lot of times we'll cast things like, like Wagoneer, for instance. That thing probably came out. I don't know, a few years ago anyway, that particular one, but some of the ones go back 10 years, 15 years, or whatever, some castings I like, and I'll find them, eventually, you know, I always find something, and it and it makes me happy when I do, and uh, same thing with the square body, if you think they're starting to hit, uh, just maybe visit the places that stock these things a little bit more frequently. I did that. I just had a hunch. You know, I posted these on Instagram. And I found them. Uh, it was just a hunch that I just felt like I was going to go look, whatever. All right, now. So many. We're going to get to them. We're going to look at them real quick. This one, <laughs> it's a dually, which is really, if I had to pick all the trucks, probably if I had to have one and I would consider paying money, would be this for me. Now I know it's been uncovered that the base is plastic, but it's okay. We'll look at it. And then a really cool matching box. So we're going to look at this one. And then we have two trucks. So I did find the van by itself one day before this van. And I actually found out that I have the variations. So here's the other box, and I have the gloss one. So I just completely lucked out about that. I saw the van at a, at a place I was traveling to, and I got it. But this, I was unexpected. And I, I'm glad I have this one because I like this one better, but this one's sweet. And we're going to open this one up real quick. Let's take a look. I also have the Blazer. So, but let's look at this van. I'm very excited to see it. You gotta be careful with that. So I just put that in there and it opens it up. And you don't have to worry about it tearing. It just has to get it past there. And look at the back of this. And the back of the one is is this one. So I, I don't know if this is more of the variation. I don't know which, if it's even. And it's funny that they chose. It's got an item number on the back. They chose to do it this way or what. But this one's awesome. And there are going to be more variation on, on the ones that are painted like this. Just because I think the, born, the person that controls this misting process of this like dirt... Um, you know, that's going to change the not, you know, the paint's going to get a little bit emptier in the tray and the nozzle will get clogged more. So this is a little bit more hand application. So it's kind of cool. And, um, we're going to take a look at that one too. Let's put this back like that. And then we're going to pop this in here. This one's sweet having the, now this is a syndicate van. So they, I guess there is one vehicle that is theirs. This is like their shop vehicle. But I thought they also had, I don't know if they have a lifted one or the, you know, the one that they have is the, uh, the, uh, what is it called? The lowered one. Okay. Wow. We got both of them on screen right there. That should be a thumbnail. Just kind of soaking it in to have the opportunity to own the fans themselves and not have to be just getting them right now not having to wait this is also the first GMC that I have of this van so hopefully I have more of them I've only had Chevys so finally having the GMC let's take a look So they have the black wheels, 
Vandura. Oof. Beautiful. And they do that high gloss finish, so it looks like that clear-coated finish that they do on their vans. Look how amazing that looks. A little bit of a crooked tail light, but we can get that out. This van can be disassembled and we'll we'll fix all that. These are these are gonna be on the shelf with all the other ones. Amazing van, just beautiful. Let's take a look at the the flat one. Beautiful chrome grills too. Really pop makes the vans pop. You know, we got this one that has just the the flat which looks cool too but wow that's awesome take a look at the chassis see if there's any difference nothing Looks like these windows are coming out, but they're not. They're just the way that is. If you get them to sit right, they'll look like this. This is about as good as you can get them. They actually are thick. So this is, once of with this adjustment on this one, they'll look like this. So we'll get that handled. Taillights are nice on this, though. A little bit off there. Okay, so you get the idea. Awesome fans. This is really cool. Okay, now, let's look at some of the other trucks. Man, those vans are cool. Look at this dually. So they fill the holes in somewhat on the bed. Slam down. This needs to be addressed. So let's, let's actually push this axle out this way. You can see the gap. This gap needs to close a little bit more. This one I'll probably leave alone just because these are steer tires and they need a little bit more of a gap. But let's push this all the way over. So that's the way it's supposed to look. Now, they put this like patina finish on it. It's a kind of a thick paint using the regular cab. So now obviously unlike the dually, the crew cab dually, this hood opens, which is nice. I love the stock tires and rims. They went back to the soft vinyl, so I really like that. Last couple of crew cabs I got in had the harder tires, so it's nice to have the soft back. Let's look at this chassis. A full 8-foot bed chassis. Now this gap right here is pretty much the same on all the other short bed trucks. So I don't really feel like, well it might be a little bit more. I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's a little bit more here. Not much. But... You can kind of cobble it together if you need to. You don't have to have this base. This base would be cool to kind of cast a few of them. I Hopefully with the short wheelbase we'll get this in like a normal packaging. So we don't have to use the hauler set to get something. We don't have to pay the extra money. Hopefully the, the regular cab truck um, will come out with the metal base. And we'll have these beds finally to throw on whatever we want. So this one obviously really can't do too much with. It's going to have to be its own deal. The only other one that's coming out that's really cool is the Coke version. It's a black and turquoise. Awesome looking truck and it's got the semi truck wheels on it. So that's a really cool truck. Hopefully I find one of those. We'll share that on the channel. Square body syndicate on all the rear windows. It's just a cool truck. It looks awesome. We're going to correct the rear axle for sure. I mean, that looks ridiculous. But we'll, we'll get it handled. We'll get it handled. I'm kind of on the fence. I mean, I know I'm going to be keeping this for the collection. I really don't care about this. And this can come off. I feel like this truck will look sweet going back to the regular color. They did not patina this part, so... I can just work really close. I can probably get most of this off without too much of a problem. But I'm just going to think about that. <laughs> I, I'll do it. I really don't care. 
Uh, the vans I'm not touching. The vans are like ridiculously cool, but you know this. You know I love tinkering with the dualies, so I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. They're pretty much my favorite right now. I mean the Wagoneer is cool, but I love my dually trucks. They're cool. All right, so kind of gushing over this. Let's let's look at some other stuff. Let's look at the stripes. Let's take a look at this thing. Now they they actually matched the customer's headlights. So they did the ambers, which look at that ridiculous <laughs> um, flashing. Let's take this off right now. And then we can go ahead and probably push this light back in. So I'm going to take this, just softly push. I'm not going to go crazy. Yeah, it went in. It went in. See? And let's take a look at this headlight. Is that any good? Need a little bit of flashing right there, so let's get that off. Done. And get a little push. So there you go, real time, just a real quick clean up there. It's not it's not gonna kill you. Hood operates awesome. Alright, let's back this up a little bit because we're having trouble fitting this in the frame. What wheels did they use? So they used the big and littles with the the like the, the caps. Now these caps they just did all black. I don't know exactly what this truck looks like in real life, but they did the bucket seat interior. So this is like one of those full build type trucks, but it does have a stock motor in it. Metal base. I think all these got the metal base except for the dually. I don't, hopefully they'll just do the metal base. They might not. They might be like, look, I, don't, I can't spend all the money all the places all the time. Look at this thing. Sweet truck. This roll's cool. I love, I love the cold that they paid attention to the headlight color. All these girls need attention. They're all jacked up. Um, this one had a bad grill. The, dot, the, the, the vans, I believe, alone, but this is kind of, so we'll fix that. Not a big deal. Just do a little bit more. All right, one more. Blazer. Really cool graphics. Let's take a look at this thing. I was alluding to kind of the casting's getting a little tired. So this one, it's getting there. Windshield frames are getting a little rough. Now this lays down, you're going to have to put a little pressure to it and then glue it, and then it'll stay. And this one will definitely get glued. This taillight fell out, I actually had to fix that. It looks a little rough. But, um, it's a really cool truck. You can see that rear seat's a little crooked. And we'll fix that too. But we got magnification on the graphics. They look good. Black wheels. And this has kind of almost disappeared. So this is all gone. It's kind of weird. You can see where the window is. The window's fine. Windshield's fine. This part of the casting is good. The drip rail does line up with the one on the the top topper. So we'll rebuild this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some plastic. I have about three or four different profiles of this really thin strip. And we'll just start piecing that in and filling it in. And then we'll sand it smooth. I'm not even going to use filler. This will just get glued on there. And I'll uh, just take our time with it, and uh, it'll get built back up. That's what I gotta do, um, because it looks terrible. Don't like that at all. So we'll fix that. We'll take the top off. I can kind of get a look at it. It's kind of really thin in there. I guess the metal really just didn't pour through the casting. It might have been a fine dye or mold, but um, it just. The molten metal did not flow in there all the way. I did bend it up a little bit. It was sunk. So now we just have to 
fill it in. We'll also get some white paint right there and fill that in. So there we go. Nice blazer. Got a little bit of a some hairs in there, a little fuzz. Let's take that out. Okay. Awesome base. Look at that. Just as good as the 4x4 trucks. So we had that casting error too. And one more thing we'll take a look at before we go. The trucks are kind of neat, huh? Let's look at the sleeve. The sleeve looks like a parts box. <laughs> so, let's have a look at the sleeve too. Well, we looked at some very, very nice trucks today, even with some of the flaws. We'll do a little pan shot here again. The, the fact that not only did I get the set, but also I was able to find the two variation of the vans, that's pretty crazy. I mean, I'm not going to... I don't know how to explain it, but here we are. And, uh, you know, I was able to get the first set of trucks, except for the white. I think I never got... No, the second set had the white truck, but I pretty much had all the first series of the square body, so I was able to find it too. And same type of thing, you know... I had the feeling to go, but also I saw that they were starting to get showing up at Walmart. So the advice there is to, you know, if, if you see that, you're going to have to just go um, step up your game. Just go show up a little bit more there in the mornings and just see if you see it. You know, if you do it once a week or once every two weeks or once a month, it just depends on how frequent you check it out and I had the expectation that I was not going to find them so you know and I was resigned to at least at least finding one or two hopefully um, but I found all of them so I'm not trying to <laughs> try to say anything I'm just I'm happy that we got them so there's our trucks of course this one was kind of tough to see the issue there but because i love that casting i was really looking forward to finding it. hopefully i see it again i don't really have much time to find this out there anymore but we'll take a look and that jeep is really cool so very very pretty good successful week to find stuff usually you know we're used to slim pickings if unless you get stuff online so more to come definitely look at more vehicles soon hope everybody enjoyed it Really appreciate all the new subscriptions, thumbs up, and comments. It helps us out. Check us out down below for more content and links. More to come. Till next time.